We're here. Hey, we are here. We're here. This is the Wolf Controversy Podcast. This is your boy, J-Rob. And hey. Jerm Griffin. And how are you doing today? We got our Instagram, Facebook, YouTubers, and our podcast listeners. Yes, yes. Podcast listeners, what's up? You can always check us out. Pod Chaser, Spotify. We got some people listening on Overcast. Pod Bean. Pod Bean. Yes, Shout out to the people who listen one. on Pod Bean. Um, <laughs> we got uh, Apple Podcast, Spotify, Google Podcast. All of it. All of it. All of it. We are here. I'm loving it. Rob, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. How are you? How are you? I'm good enough. It's been a long week. I am good enough, and I'm alive. I'm glad to be here, blessed to be here, and um, I'm doing great. That's good. We episode 17? Episode 17. Episode 17. Yes, that's the blessing, the blessing. All right, let's get to it. All right, so we're talking about is milk good for you, right? Is milk really good for you? Yes. All right, so here's the thing. So do we really need milk in our diet? Mm, controversy 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 i mean when i did my research there is like a yes you milk got some nutritional benefits to it mm -hmm. i know you got a rebuttal come on <laughs> and i know and, and i'm definitely on the side of a heck to the no um milk it milk though it does have calcium it just has too much fat for us to call it nutritional at all and, and that's my main argument actually today is that it just has too much fat for any type of nutritional value to be placed on it all right. i'm sorry so it does got a lot of fat all right in the whole milk but also it has a lot of calcium it has all the vitamins that you need vitamin d it has okay. the what is it the phosphorus Okay. Yeah. So it has nutritional value to it. Okay. Now, it does have some damage to it, though. Mm. It has some negative effects. Um, Especially in whole milk. Like you said, it is a lot of fat in there. It is a lot. A whole lot of fat in there. And you know about the, it got the 2% and the 1% yeah. yeah. milk. Yep. You know, that only really case that it's good as the whole milk. My mom got to keep it real. So here's my thing though, Rob. Um, mm. Should we really be drinking it though? Should we really be eating it? I mean, cheese, dairy, ice cream, like, is it really good? Like, could you live without it? Why, why, why are you eating milk products, dairy products? All right, all right. I mean, we grew up eating it. You can live without it, but at the same yeah. time, you kind of do need the milk, though. Nah, nah, you nah. Don't nah, nah. Milk nah. make you nice and strong, though. It does make nah. your bones. Nah, 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 nah. I want to talk about the bioavailability of calcium. Mm. That means that most of the calcium in milk isn't even absorbed by the body. Only about a third of milk is actually absorbed by the body so all that stuff about oh i got calcium really the bioavailability so the stuff your life your body can actually use only a third of that calcium is used or mm. is able to be used mm, mm, mm. so you're saying only a third of that is able to be used yeah okay so what happened to the rest of it the rest of it, the body can't even use. I mean, like, at why exactly? I'm, you know, and I'm not a food scientist, but I think it just passes along. I mean, your body, though it has minerals, we also have to understand that there are chemicals reactions, chemical reactions happening in our bodies, and for the chemical reactions to take place, certain chemicals got to be mixed with other chemicals certain minerals got to be broken down with this protein and that protein some of this stuff isn't even getting broken down unlike this is what i wanted to get to 
bok choy, kale, and broccoli. Bok choy, kale, and broccoli might not have the same amount of calcium, but the bioavailability is much greater, meaning that you, the calcium you do eat actually is absorbed higher. Hmm. Bam, bok choy has a 50% bioavailability you know calcium what? absorption. I remember yeah. looking that showing up. So 50% of the calcium you eat from bok choy will be absorbed by the body and used for them strong bones that you're referring to. Hmm. Bam. Mm, mm, mm. Not to compare, but <laughs> I like vegetables. <laughs> so tell me this though. Yeah. So if we don't need milk, right? Yeah. Why do they put it as the, you know, in our diet? In our nutritional diet. <sighs> I wish I could do more research on that. Why do you think? Why do I think? I mean, at the same time, I still think milk is in somewhat needed. Now, you can get some of the um stuff that she had milk in other products though. That's true. That is true. That's true. Now, um, I think there is something wrong with the milk that we're drinking. There is some stuff they put in the milk though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it's I, definitely I, different from the cow milk. Milk you get from the cow. Mm, yeah, we were talking about that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's definitely different from the milk you get from the cow. Right, 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 right. Okay, so what he referred to is like, if I were to go get to a cow right now and milk that cow, what would come out of the cow udder would be different than what is sold on stores. I think everyone should be at least agreeing on that. Yes, definitely. Absolutely. Some of this stuff has been processed. It's... um. Pasteurize this hormones in it. Okay, I want to hit on that. <laughs> well, you is there hormones in it, bro? You know they put hormones in our food. Okay, now hold on. <laughs> there is hormones. This food has been processed. They have put hormones in it. Why you think, bro? Why you think we got all this stuff that's going on in our body right now? <laughs> I understand your claim. But the only thing I will argue is, are the hormones for us or is it for the cow? Hormones are, so. Like, is it getting put directly in the food for us or is it getting put into the cow that then mm -hmm. produces the food? That's the question, I should say. Mm. That's right. Steve. You, you, you hit on That's a, Steve. You hit on a good one. That's Steve. Now, let me tell you, I do think they put it in the food, right? Okay. But I kind of do think they put it in the cow, too, because I know they do it for chickens, too. Oh, yeah. And they do it so the chicken can grow faster, so they can make the meat. Mm, you know, chicken, chicken nuggets, and all that stuff. They do that with chicken. They do it with oh, yeah. the other animals. So, yeah, I do think they put it in the cows, which affects our milk, affects our beef, and affects all the other yeah. you know products that we get yeah. from the cow so our food is processed with hormones yeah. okay absolutely absolutely um absolutely rob mm. Mm. I, I i'm just saying that because i i know for sure that what i was listening to says they are indeed putting it into it like the cow so that the cow keeps producing milk of course. You know what I mean? Whether or not they put it directly in the food, that's a that's that's something that I gotta research more and you're saying that indeed they are. I, I, I can't I go as like, far as I as feel like in some of the food they put it directly in and they know what they're doing. <laughs> Rob, here's my only thing though. Milk is filled with hormones no matter what. And I really want to push this estrogen. Uh -huh. Now, I, there's a few things I want to say that uh, there's a bunch of anti-milk people. I do drink milk. I, you know what I mean? Confession time. We always got confession time on the show. I drink milk. I drink cheese. I eat cheese. Forgive me. I eat cheese. I'm not uh, the biggest ice cream I ain't fan. apologizing for drinking milk or I, eating cheese. But milk is filled with 
hormones. All right. I still drink my milk with cereal. <laughs> I put my milk in coffee. Yeah, I do that way too often. <laughs> but you're drinking a slurry of hormones, estrogen specifically, and others. Grown men aren't drinking milk from a from a woman's uh, uh, teeth. Listen, <laughs> old term. That's an old. Term. I love this podcast. Hey, grown man, <laughs> why they only let babies drink that mess? I'm serious. I, I'm just trying to understand why. Why are we drinking the stuff that a, a mama cow would give her baby? And we know there's stuff in it for other things, like growing a baby into an adult. Why are we drinking so much of this milk? Eating so much of this stuff. Rob, I want to bring my other point to the podcast. I know this one's going to kill you. Uh -oh. I brought some science. You brought milk me? is crack. Yo, what? <laughs> milk is crack, and I can prove it. Milk has something called a casomorphine that gets break that that gets broken down in oh, your gut. Morphine. Uh oh, look it up. Casomorphine. Okay, so milk has some stuff, and I'm looking at my notes to get the right specific word. Cat, I believe they call it casein. C A S casein. C A S E I N. It's a milk. It, it has milk derivatives that turn into casomorphine. Casomorphine sounds like what drug? <laughs> sounds like morphine, right? Morphine. Yeah. Yep. Morphine, find out, gets broken down in your gut. So when you drink the milk, it's actually not casomorphine. It turns into casomorphine when you go put it and it starts to digest in your gut. Mm. This stuff mm. is then acts like an opioid. Like crack, Ooh. coke, lean, it attaches to the opioid receptors on the nervous system and it affects pain, pleasure, and reward. If y'all don't stop playing with me, milk is crack. Y'all was Yo. sucking on some crack the whole time. Bro, you know what you sounded like? Please don't say. <laughs> you know our old head. <laughs> I ain't going to put his name on his podcast now. <laughs> yeah, I got to calm down. I got to calm down because, because when I heard that, Rob, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. This, and I was urging some cheese, man. Isn't there some days you'd be like, yo, I just want a cheeseburger. I just want a cheese pizza. I just want or something cheese. cheese. Steak. Oh, my goodness. You just want some cheese. And sometimes you're not even addicted like you want the meat. You can just eat a raw piece of cheese. You ever been there? Oh, yeah, I don't know about that, bro. You got me lost there. Mozzarella bro, stick? I mean, mozzarella sticks I can eat. Oh, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, well, that's not a raw piece of cheese. Yeah, like. uh, yeah. You ain't never want, oh, man, let me just get that cold slice. No, bro. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no. no. I mean, no. I can. I'll take some mozzarella. A camera woman is saying no. She, she ain't get that feeling yet. I got the feeling. It, it's a bad feeling. Sometimes you feel like you're on crack. This stuff is addicted. It has beta <laughs> cancer morphines. It lowers blood sugar like an opioid, like crack, coke. When you're feeling all uppity up, you take some of that coke, crack, lean, and now milk. You're actually, your blood sugar... <laughs> Your blood sugar kind of lower, like you're on some darn PCP out there. <laughs> this uh, stuff is opioids, y'all. We got to stop drinking this. And I'm preaching to the choir, Rob. I got to stop. After this session, I wanted to go get some pizza. Y'all don't even know. I'm trying to get off crack, y'all. No, I'm no, trying no, to get I, off. I, I'm still get the pizza after this. I, I still eat some cheese and I still drink some milk. Okay, and it still makes me nice and strong. I'm a nice, healthy man. <laughs> and you know a lot of that's propaganda. No, you agree with that. You can't lie. Got some milk and all propaganda. that mess. I'm going to admit, but some of it be true. There's still some beneficial nutrients from milk. Now, can I get on a different type of milk too? Okay. Yo, because, all right. 
we know we got the whole milk, right? Yeah. Yes. Then you got the soy milk. Okay. Almond milk. Right. What's that other one? Soy milk, almond milk. Um, mix. Ah, I did the whole research. Soy milk, almond milk. Coconut. One more. Yeah, isn't there some other type? Well, you got coconut too. <laughs> Which technically isn't even a milk. Coconut you don't like that? Heck no. That's oh, I like nasty that, man. as hell. I like that. I, like that. <coughs> I don't even like soy milk. You know? Heck to the no. Now, almond milk, I can drink some of that. Um, oh, yeah, I can get down with that. You know, I like the honey flavor. Really? Okay. Yeah, the honey flavor almond milk. Mm -hmm. No? Honey flavor. <laughs> no, it's not the move. We got a camera woman today, y'all, and she giving her opinion. She giving her opinion. Mm -hmm. Not a big fan of uh, almond milk, but you like it. Yeah, you like it. Yeah, I don't, don't, drink, it. I don't drink it much, but I do like it. But I, I don't drink it much. Yeah, yeah. Well, supposedly the almond milk is supposed to be more healthier than uh, regular milk. I but think so. There is some stuff that's milk. Oh, we do get protein from milk. Don't give us that protein. Yeah, definitely not the same amount. I, I, I actually do agree with that. Mm -hmm. I definitely agree with that. Yeah. But like I'm saying, my main argument is that it just has so much fat that how could we make an argument for any type of nutritional value with overlooking the the fact that it has so much fat in it, Rob? You gotta agree. So much fat in milk. I mean, it's no overlooking it. We gotta stop drinking it. So much fat. Um, I'm not a animal rights people, but I think I'm gonna throw them a bone today. You're gonna throw them a bone. I think I'm gonna oh, throw them a little bone today. I'm not even gonna get my opinion on this animal rights. I'm gonna throw them a bone today. Um, hey, you just gotta give me a opinion. Oh gosh, yeah, that's a different episode. Um, yo, the cow is constantly pregnant. It's like the cows, the female cows are constantly pregnant to give us this product. It's like if we were selling human milk, a woman would literally have to constantly be pregnant and constantly giving off this milk. Cows gotta be milked about twice a day. If they don't, it gets really uncomfortable. It's sad. Um, I, I don't really know what to say. Um, if, if, you know, and I'm not the biggest animal rights person, don't, don't put that on me, but it, it's definitely quite disturbing. Oh, um, so There's yeah. Also, oak milk, oak milk. <clears throat> yup, with oats. And you also got rice milk. Uh, yeah, I, I never had. I never milk. tried any of those. There's hemp milk. <laughs> Don't try that. Cash, cashew milk. I never heard of that. Wow. Mm. Skim milk, goat milk, <laughs> raw milk. Organic milk, evaporated milk, flavor milk, mm. condensed milk. Yeah. Powder milk. And powder milk. Powder milk, she say powder milk. Yeah. Powder milk, yeah. Oh, I heard some stuff with the powder milk. That's <laughs> it too. It's nasty. Yeah, you want that that's powder the stuff milk. that you get the babies in. <laughs> mm, mm that's yeah. formula. Mm. That's a what? I, I heard stuff about the powder milk. I yeah. heard stuff about formula negative stuff they put in there. Mm. Yeah. I, I be thinking well, that's, about that's it. another episode. That though. is a different episode. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I almost want to tell them replace that formula with the cow's milk. That's what I almost want to say. Because it's cow, cow milk. milk. What the heck I Dude, is? I'm telling you, this cow's milk is for babies. Man, give them the. Mother's milk. Give them that nice, good breast milk. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's what the babies need. But would you want them to drink from another woman if they had to? Mm. Because that's my thing. With the breast milk, I mean, we're making a big assumption that every woman can produce it mm -hmm. and that she has the means to actually, you know, 
Well, if she can't produce it, right? Mm-hmm. Another woman going to <laughs> shoot, shoot. <laughs> okay, they do got the um, what they call them, the um, midwife, right? <laughs> yeah, that. Uh, shoot. But you know that midwife would have to be around pregnant at the same yeah. time. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> This cow stuff, the cow is constantly pregnant. Like, think as about it. As long as there is a baby that can suck them. <laughs> no, that's all they need. As long as there's a baby and a nipple somewhere, someone's getting some milk tonight, okay? So, someone's getting some milk. Somebody is definitely Your getting mom, some somebody's milk. mom, someone's giving up some milk tonight for this child. Uh-huh. <laughs> What's that no. movie? It said anything with a nipple can give up milk. And the guy looking at him, well, can you milk me? Yeah. Yo. <laughs> Wait, was that Little Man? No, I think that was uh, Wonder Woman. No, Meet the Fox or something like that. But yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Rob, anything you want to say, man? What you think about milk, man? Look, I think there is some benefits of drinking milk but i also think there is some negatives of drinking milk that's why i'm at i'm in the middle of that so um <clears throat> i wouldn't say cut it out completely but i think to get a little balance i mean yeah and as as well with the other dairy products too wow well, how about you bro I, I'm 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 so on one side of this. It's not even funny, and I do drink milk. I I think actually, and and wow, this is starting to sound funny, like this whole thing. But what if we were drunk milk, like we drank alcoholic products? Mm. Like if you you, first of all, there's a lot to go into this. Milk is subsidized. Now you can take that a few different ways. When I say subsidized, I am referring to the milk industry is definitely getting paid by the government to create milk to keep milk alive to keep mm-hmm. workers paid um they've been doing this <coughs> since what like the great depression okay mm-hmm. there was price support okay farmers ha- at times had too much milk and they were getting paid to kill off cows you know what I mean? We will pay you to stop producing milk. Other times, there, you know what I mean? We've had less milk and, and uh, you know, the government didn't really have to step in to pay farmers. But we we got to understand the whole dairy industry is definitely getting subsidized. The, the whole idea of, oh, I'm going to go to the store, $2, $3 a gallon. You know how much milk would cost without the government's help? Jeez, it would be like alcohol. I went down to the store yesterday and got a shot of milk. That's how we should be talking about it. <laughs> Last weekend, I took three, four shots of milk. That's honestly how we should be talking about milk. But you gotta understand, milk also has vitamin B, which helps your body convert food into fuel. And you gotta know, it's vitamin B12, it got revoflavin, it got pantothetic acid, and niacin, which all helps the body. Yeah, and they also have fat, which does not help the body. Come on, man. Even with even with them products, we gotta also make the assumption: are is the milk the only place I can get that from? All right, it's not the only place. I now, know. I'll I'll give you this though: B twelve, you can really only get mainly from meat and milk and stuff. So I'll give you the B12 one. Mm-hmm. I'll give you that. I remember going vegetarian. I was actually deficient in B12. Probably should have drank some milk. <laughs> if you are have a B12 deficiency, you might want to look at getting B12 supplements and stuff. So mm-hmm. I'll give you the B12 one. We got to look at what plants actually have B12. But you um, went vegetarian. I was fasting early. Yeah. Yeah, I went vegetarian. And definitely don't vegetarian. ever expect me to go vegan. If I can't do vegetarian, Darn sure, no, I can't do vegan. <laughs> Bro, but that's what I'm saying. When I was vegetarian, I didn't go vegan. And I was drinking milk, I was still eating cheese, and I'm like, you know. <clears throat> what's going on? We get a comment. That's um nothing. What's the Neforza? Neforza? You can say <laughs> Nigel from Love, uh, right? Oh yeah. What's up, Nigel? Alright. The four's are on the track. 
I just want to say, like, leave off with this, that if the government is is doing so much to keep the min- meal, the milk industry alive, we really got to consider what our dietary recommendation really is and what's the meaning behind the government keeping this one industry alive so much. They've been keeping it alive for, what, over over 60 years this thing has been out and about the government has been paying farmers to keep milk up um stupid stuff with people killing cows and it's just amazing to me um how much milk there is um we go to schools remember public schools i want to you know take us some years back high school they were throwing milk at kids i mean like it's crazy how much milk (laughs) You could have got from school. Am I wrong? Like I work at a school. They giving it home almost. Like I mean, bro, you know I did the uh, at school program. And <laughs> what you got they, a bunch of that milk, did you? Yeah. Even though they had a different type of milk though. They had chocolate, didn't they? <laughs> oh, they didn't give out. All right. So my center, they didn't give out like that regular milk. Uh-huh. It was some. It was a weird, it tasted nasty type of milk, like. What you mean? Like, was it whole milk? Was it bovine cow milk? No, it wasn't whole milk. It was some type of milk. It was supposed to be healthy, they said. But I don't taste it straight nasty. It really? tasted like, if I really, because I remember it came in a little curtain box. Um, <clears throat> If I'll be honest, I thought it tasted like canned milk, but. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> oh, like they evaporated. Dang, mm-hmm. dang! I didn't. Oh man, they were throwing the evaporated milk. I mean, some of the kids like to do, but yeah, I, I ain't mess with that milk. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what people talking about? We just said, nah. We read reading comments today. That's what's up. But yeah, I ain't mess with that milk. No. But yeah, they do give out milk at the school and daycares and all that. Yeah, but why is that? Because how much do they have? Have they ever given out steak? <laughs> Rob, have you they know ever they ain't given out, out no steak? steak? Why not? Um, why should they give out steak? That's like a really authentic meal right there. Uh, all right, well, I'm asking every question under the book. Listen, Rob, we had a good time out here. Any last words? Talk to me. Any last words? Um, I think that's it, bro. Not much to really say. I mean, you got any last words? Um, yeah, I I just want to say, uh, I'm you know pray for your brother. I'm I'm working on my on my uh, recovery. This is uh, Milk uh, Recoverers uh, Anonymous, and uh, ah. pray for me. You can follow me at Germ Twix on Twitter at Germ Griffin on Instagram. Rob, follow me on J Wizzle underscore on Instagram. Yes, of course, of course. And of course, follow the podcast on Instagram. That's at W-O-C underscore podcast. Yes. And you can look it up on Facebook or the Controversy Podcast and W-O-C underscore pod on YouTube and the, um, Twitter. Twitter. Uh, W-O-C underscore pod. Yes. Well, that was good. It was good to have you guys. Um, Join us for our next episode where we talk about dating. Is age really just a number?